Welcome back to Basel in Switzerland. You're watching our live coverage of the Total BWF World Championship. Five matches down in this effectively second session and one more to go. And on paper might be one of the most interesting of the lot. Between Mark Keljo and Katapon Wang Charan of Thailand. Just waiting for our officials to come on court. Every match so far, as you can see, has been won in straight games. I wonder if this will follow that pattern. Wang Charan seeded 12. Against Kaljo, a dangerous floater in the draw. Here's how they fit into that men's singles draw. Poktorov or Vraba wait in the second round. Just looking at that, it's a, a great opportunity for the winner here to make some serious progress. At least potentially into the round of 16. Number two men singles. So here come the protagonists. From the Netherlands, Mark Kaljau. And from Thailand, Kantapon Vangcha Ren. The much taller Mark Kaljo at the front there, six foot. Vangcha oh. Ren at five foot eight. On paper and on form, Wang Charan should prevail here, but sport is nothing if not unpredictable. So we'll see how this match pans out. Just the one previous meeting, that was uh, not long ago actually, the Japan Open. And it went to three games before the tie won out. one of the real up-and-comers in the men's game. He's just 20 years of age. Let's have a look at Kaljo first, though. Ranked at 32. That high ranking was last June. Been around a long time. First called up for the national team as a very young man. 15 years of age. Runner-up at the US Open last year. He won the Austrian Open uh, this year. To Kaljo. And his opponent, confirmation, just 20 years of age. 15 is his best ranking ever. Got a bronze at the World Juniors three years ago. Runner up at the Thailand Masters in 2017 as an 18 year old. Actually lost to Tommy Sugiato in that match. So chasing his first title, I think it would be a long shot for him to win this, but it surely can't be uh, long before he wins the Super 300 or Super 5. Christoph Osebold from Germany is in the umpire's chair for this one. Pham Nguyen from Vietnam is the service judge. Ready to pay. Kaujo is a very, very good player. Obviously more experienced than his opponent, albeit he's ranked some 17 places uh, lower, but It's uh, still a learning experience to a degree for this man. Ah! He 
is great to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Bakalyao Netherlands. And on my left, Kanta von Wangsharom, Thailand. Kanta von Wangsharom to serve. Love all. Thanks. Here we go then for this men's first round match. Wang Charon, one of the real up and comers in the men's game. One love. Against the consistent Mark Calco from the Netherlands. Oh, well, that just gives you a glimpse of this man's talent. Love. Five foot eight, he may be, but he hits that shuffle so hard and so accurately. He loves to make a statement of intent early in a match. He did so with that shot. Trying to give Kaljo the run around. Well, terrific rally. Both men playing Three. their part in that. No. But Wang Charan wouldn't be denied. A near 40 shot rally for the third point of the match. Showcase pretty much every shot in the book. Really classy winner from the tie. It's over. One, three. Yeah, great play from Cal Joe. Surprised his opponent with the Two, serve there. Three. And was in control thereafter. Well, how emphatic that was, was that? Second time we've seen him Four. really lean Two. into one of those uh, smashes. No chance for the Dutchman. Well, he did brilliantly to stay on the point as long Five, as he did there. Two. Kyle Joe. He's got absolutely Six, every two. stroke going. See how good his uh, smash is. He's got wonderful touch around the net as well. Kaldra never getting there, or at least never getting there to get it back. And he's got a shot or two, though, in his over. repertoire. Three, six.
That is over. Seven, three. Well, Kaucho already will know he's going to have to get absolutely out of his skin. He's going to get through here against a precociously talented tie. Who's already in the first five or six minutes of this match. Eight, three. For once, oh. his touch at the net fails him. Well, he, I think he just wanted to end the rally there and missed that Five, by some way. Eight. And full marks to Caldro for staying in the point. That actually missed, that would have missed him doubles. Keldra is fighting back well here. It's going to be a challenge from the tie. Not sure he's that confident getting this overturned. It was called in. Caught enough of the line. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Six, eight, play. That is over. Nine, six. Well, he did brilliantly to fight his way back in that point because he was second best for the most for most of it. Kelcho just shows you one loose shot, and that's what happens. Feels like that man's been in charge. 
since we started, but he's only a couple of points ahead. Judgment from the tie. has been so good but he got that all wrong for the tie, but maybe not as big a one as you would have wanted. 11-9 in Wang Charon's favour as they go for the mid-game interval. The thing that, that's to fear with him is if you're playing when he jumps. Number two, let it look. Surface, you Joel, that's quite encouraged that he's still in this. Get up his game a little bit. Might be in for a, some real fireworks. Ah, oh, he's got himself in all kinds of trouble there. Really? Just lost his bearings completely. Sometimes even being six foot doesn't help. Well, stuck in there well, Wang Charon, because he was second favourite in that rally. It's the proverbial gift horse. <laughs> and uh, Calcio didn't look it in the mouth. Not going to get that kind of an error very often from the young tight. We disappointed with that, Calcio. 14. Hey. From mid court. Yeah. Hot. 
That was hit very, very hard. 15. 10. Now Miss Q. 16. Okay. All of a sudden, this game is heading away from the Dutchman. Well, it's just irresistible at the moment. Well, Sharon. Oh, it's great scrambling from Wang Chao, but in the hard. end, Keljo held his nerve. 11, 17. Still up against it, though. Well, Maybe just 17. a tad optimistic. Playing the cross-court smash from that D. Missed it by big margin. Just offering a bit of encouragement here to his opponent. Tight. It's over 18, 12. Just get the impression watching Kentapon Wang Chan on that he, he could go up the gears almost any time he likes. Such a, such a talent and such a prospect. 19, a couple of points 12. away from taking this opening game. Great shot down the line. And it sets up eight game, point. game points. Oh, superb. So 21 12 in barely 19 minutes. First blood to the tie. Coming up and, dis and, and deceptive putting him down to his forehand corner. 
there has to be height on it, or it has gone past it. If you see, it's taking it, then this way you can jump out and hit on you, it, it mainly comes to the backhand. But, but you, you cannot play like that, so, so it, it has to be lifting with a little bit high or pushing it into the court. But the rest is fine, the follow ups is fine. Always following up, always closing the net. But we're not getting anything for free here. Right, we're getting some, some smash mistakes from him. That's when our, our place is, is good enough. But otherwise, it's hard work, it's hard work every single point. We cannot take one rest point. Okay? And when you come out of the night, oh, we're fine. Part two, 20 seconds. Part two, 20 seconds. Coach. Second game, bravo, fake. Well, clearly One. trying to be more positive, Low. Mark Cowjo, but wide of the sideline with the jump smash. Maybe it feels like he's got to do something just to try and mix it up a bit. Because at the current rate, the tie is bossing proceedings at the moment. Feels Love. like the world's against him at the moment. Very rare you'd see Calcio miss from that range. It's great defence, though, again from the ties. Not just a shot maker. Yep. Thank you. Some of the stuff he gets back is phenomenal. Oh, Not the start he was looking for early in game two. It's just an air of desperation, isn't there, about Six. the Dutchman's play at the Love. moment. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And again, beautifully placed. Seven. All of Love. a sudden, it's become... Very one-sided. I mean, 21-12 in the first game sounds like uh, it wasn't a problem for the tie, but it was close for the uh, first part of that game. Nine all at one stage. Finally gets a point. It's over. One, seven.
Over. That point was only his fourth in the last one. 23. And that tells you everything about the way that the match is going for Mark Caljo. So it's over. That showed a bit of heart, though. Two, eight. Well, that's magnificent defence again Ten, from the tie. Two. Another error from Calgio at the end, but he must be getting so frustrated. The amount this guy gets back. Nice angle. angle. Three, ten. Yeah, well played again. Great credit to Four, the Dutchman, even though ten. it looks to be in a Serious uh, spot of bother here. His effort has never flagged. Even so, to say Wang Charon's lead is a healthy one is something of an understatement. 11 4 at the mid game interval. It's over. 5-11. Rare misjudgment. On the world, number 15.
Well, you look at the score line and it looks pretty one-sided, on, but nonetheless, in. it's produced some really good rallies. Um, a challenge here from Wang Charon. It was called in. I think if I was him, I might have had a, a polite request to Hawkeye as well. Look close. Wasn't winning, was it? Bang on the line. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. I don't think he's going to be Six, 11, particularly mortified by that. That was a fantastic block by Kanko. I think it actually Seven, surprised Wang uh, Charon that he that it came back at all. Showing tremendous attitude and great spirit, the Dutchman here. Challenges Challenging out. again. Not sure this one's going to work either. Pulled out. So now he's out of challenges. Unsuccessful, no challenge remaining. Eight, eleven. Well, you'd Eight. have to say his badminton's terrific. Maybe he should work on his uh, his challenges. That seems to be the weak point. Tell you what, Helge's got a, a foothold Nine, here now. 11. Fought back from absolutely nowhere in this game. Mentioned their previous meeting went to three games. Venom in that shot. <laughs> Twelve nine. to tell but to the naked eye it appears as though maybe it just lost a little bit of power the tie been on court but only about 35 minutes but the winners have dried up a little bit mind you I'm starting from a, a pretty high base
Love is over. 13, 10. That's very good judgment. 14, 10. That's what I mean about temperament. Uh, Kaujo fighting back at him, he doesn't seem in the least flustered. Just regroups, regathers his thoughts. And he's got his reasonable lead back again, that's... OK, and it's going to be challenged. In. And I think he almost has to have a look at this. Even if he doesn't completely believe it was long, just the way the, the score is. Got two challenges, may as well use them. And that was a good one. Correction, out. So it's over. 11, 14. Play. Oh, that's brilliant from Kaojo. I wonder whether that challenge is going to, that 12, successful challenge is going to just rejuvenate him a little bit. Because he's certainly not out of this. At one stage, he looked like just a question of when and not if he would go out. Yep. But he's fought back really gallantly, and he's forcing Wang Chan on now to try and recapture some of the stellar form he showed us in the first game. Just a two point lead. So it's over 15, 12. Just gambled a little bit. To be fair, I think he saw that coming from the Dutchman. Produced a few of those, hasn't he? The second game. 13, 15. That's going to be wide. And it's just going to be a point in it now. And all of a sudden, a bit of pressure 14, on the tie. 15. And it's a good test here to see how he handles it. A, a loose one. It's over. 16. That could 14. be a massive point. Covered 17 after 14. nearly losing, losing his balance at one point. He did brilliantly. 
Wasn't even second favourite at one stage, he was third favourite when that point. Another error from Coucher, though. Can ill afford any mistakes. Yeah, that was a it's over. perfectly placed shot from Coucher. He's not given up. 15, 17. He's shown a lot of heart. He needs to show a bit more. All huge points for him from here on in. And that was really well done. Now 16, he's within a point again. 17. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely superb. 17 off. Not the easiest shot to play, that round the head, forehand, overhead, and made it look very, very straightforward and got so much power into it. I think it surprised the type. 33-shot rally, and this game wide open now. And if Wang Chanon loses this game, he'll be kicking himself because he was cruising at one point. Huge credit to the Dutchman for getting back in it. Frustratingly into the net. 18, 17. Well, the winners may have dried 19, up for the tie, 17. but a couple of Belgio errors are just inching him towards the winning line here. One, two. Huge point this for Calgio. Now, 20, three match points. 20, you heard the scream of yes. 70. That shows you. He's feeling the tension out there. Three, He's been put under pressure in this second game.
Well, under the circumstances, a terrific yeah. rally. That'll be no consolation for Mark Calgio, who put up a terrific fight in that second game, having been, frankly, outclassed in the first. But it is a safe passage through to the second round for the 20-year-old Thai Kantepon Wang Charon, who deserved it, but he had some anxious moments along the way, particularly in the latter stages of that second game. It tells you, I think, that reaction that he knew is getting a bit dicey towards the end. Kaojo will have no complaints. Put up a great fight as ever. In the end, goes down 21-12, 21-17 in 46 entertaining minutes on court. So all six matches in this kind of second session, if you like, have gone in straight games, but there's been uh, plenty of entertainment, some, some terrific stuff on day one of the uh, World Championships. We've shown you 12 live matches in total since we began, what, nearly 10 hours ago. And in fact, every match has been won in straight games. We started off with some men's singles. Let's pick out some of the highlights there. Lu and Yang, um, surprisingly, beaten fairly comfortably by Ellis and Langridge in the men's doubles. And Ginting, comfortable. In the singles, had a real resurgence in the last year or so, Anthony Ginting. We saw a fairly comfortable victory for Ahori. Uh, Lee and Huang, that was, a, that was an entertaining match. And in the uh, men's, uh, sorry, the mixed doubles, Shannon and Burkhart were fairly competitive in that opening match, opening game against uh, Lansfors and Hertrich. And as we've just seen, uh, Wang Chano won the 20 year old, absolutely imperious until the last, uh, the last five or 10 minutes. He looked like he had a few nerves, but got through safely enough in the end into the next round. Well, that just about concludes our coverage of day one, but don't despair. We've got another six days to go, and tomorrow we'll be covering both courts one and court two, and we'll be showing you 12 live matches on each, so 24 live matches in total tomorrow here from Basel, Switzerland. In the meantime, hope you've enjoyed our coverage today. From me, Trevor Harris, and our entire outside broadcast crew, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.